What is up? I'm Water Turtle, and today we are opening our first box of Twilight Masquerade. Uh, we were pretty fortunate to get this set pretty early uh, from my vendor. Actually, almost got it like a whole week. I think I got it on, let's see, today's actually Sunday as the time of filming, so I got it on Saturday evening. Uh, did want to crack it like right, right away, uh, but did have a bunch of like stuff to do around the house, so. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I feel like this set looks pretty good. But to be honest, I'm not sure if it's going to be the most exciting. Like we're starting to introduce, I feel like I'm not really keeping up with all like the new Pokemon, but um, this whole like this mass Pokemon. And I did open one box um, off camera with my uh, significant other. And we pulled like the the special art of like the fire one, which first I wasn't sure if I like, liked it. Uh, but then as the more I look at it, it's like, you know, it's a very unique art. And it does seem like they have one for like the different uh, types. And looking through them, I think I think the fire one might be the best one. All right, so we will go through the commons for this first pack just to get a feel for. I do feel like some of the arts are pretty cute. Uh, like the air art's pretty cute, but I feel like a lot of the arts, they look just similar or reused. Uh, it's like, oh, look, there's a random helmet. Iron Bundle, the Deli Bird, Festival Grounds, Sunflora, and then Infernape. Oh, we did pull a Alt Art Infernape which I also think is one of the better alt arts. And so this set, I feel like there's less like huge chase Pokemon, like like Charizards and that kind of stuff, cool legendaries, uh, but they do have solid alt arts. And I do feel like this might be a set that is you're capable of getting like the entire set uh, for relatively cheap. We got our first hit, a Dragapult EX. Oh, I didn't mention the start of the video. So this is for um, our good friend, Ty. Uh, so thanks for supporting me. I am patron and um, Yeah, thanks for sponsoring this video. All right, we're gonna start speeding things up. Let's go. I think it's four cards Apologies if you can hear and noise in the background. There is a ice cream truck <laughs> driving by and uh, yeah I do have my window open as it is getting pretty warm here in the um, Northeast US Looking at the mic, I think it is picking up the ice cream truck. Probably not. It's probably pretty faint. We got a Luxio Corfish into. I thought this was a Galarian Articuno for a second. All right, yeah, there's there's some new Pokemon that I'm not familiar with. Looking through this set, I think I saw some promising like supporters. I think there was like um, it was like Lana, the one that's like always fishing. And then I think there was another one. I didn't recognize the trainer, but I think she was holding a camera. All right, so here's the mass. It was like Ogapon or something. And looks like there's a rock type, the leaf type. We did pull the alt art fire and then a water type. A Chi Yu. Can't even tell what this is. Is this like a fish? And then a Tinglu. Looks like some kind of moose. So let me know what your thoughts are on this set. There is a like Blood Moon Ursaring or, or Ursa Luna, which I think it looked pretty good, but it wasn't, you know, like amazing. And then I don't know. I have watched some like Japanese openings of like the new sets and there's a big deal about. Ooh, all right. We get a Dragapult EX, a shiny. Let's just take a look real quick. Fent and dive 200 damage. Put six damage counters opponents bench Pokemon any way you like. Oh my, that's sounds like really strong I, I don't really keep up with the meta but oh this stage two though that's pretty cool but yeah there's like this uh trainer car puffin then i looked up because i think in the japanese that they're saying like yeah it's pretty expensive uh trainer then you just like grab two two pokemon with like 70 hp or less and just put them right on your bench and i imagine if they end up there i wonder like does that not include like any like effects that happen when they go to their bench and if so that sounds really strong although I, f I wonder if the effect like reads from your hand to the bench but either way just to grab them seeking and a so yes i feel like the uh we're opening this oh yeah we got the blob with the hat on <laughs> I just don't... it's hard to follow all these pokemon we gotta see i feel like this art looks very familiar So yeah, I feel like nothing too exciting in this set, but we'll see. And then, I don't know, to be honest, I feel like all of the alt arts, like the regular alt arts, not like the super duper ones, they all look pretty good. Um, nothing amazing. 
I think I always like the ones where the Pokemon is like helping the trainers, like like the Machoke Moving Company one, for example. I think there was um like Timber was Timber into maybe it was Timber. Um, ooh, all right, we did get a spec. I don't know what the best a spec is, but we pulled two in our first box. Uh, you can always discard three other cards in your hand. Search your deck item to a supporter and a stadium. Okay, so you get one of everything. Pretty cool. Chandelure. I think we pulled one of them was like a like a reset stamp, but it was like really powerful. I think it's only if you just lost the Pokemon last turn, and then like you get five cards, and then your opponent gets two. That would be pretty crippling. Cook into Florges into a as like Okie Dokie, no Okie Dogie. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I've this whatever this thing this guy's swinging another Pokemon house holding something similar. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of lore that I'm definitely have not kept up with in um, the new era of Pokemon. The whole like ancient versus like the future, like the irons. Uh, to be honest, I'm still not crazy about it, but um, especially since I don't know, the like iron leaves. The the Pokemon aren't different enough. They're just like metal. Uh, you know, like, versus when you have, like, the... Okay, we did get a full heart support. I can't imagine this caretaker. <laughs> Old Walt guy is the one people are looking for. But we got a support, a full heart supporter tie. Draw two cards, we draw any cards this way. And if community center is in play, shuffle caretaker into your deck instead of discarding it. All right, that sounds very <laughs> underwhelming. Uh. Um... Yeah, like, if they were different types and stuff like that, beyond just being, like, I'm assuming they're all, like, some form of, like, metal or something. Maybe, I can't remember if the ancient ones have different types, or I, I liked it when they have, like, a very different look. Like, the Galarian Birds is an okay example. Accompanying Flute, we got a Flute. Slurpuff into an... Yeah, I did not understand this Pokemon at all. E Enamorous. All right, yet to hit anything too crazy. A, a Watchroll. Ooh, okay. A Laren. All right, I. That's not bad. You know, he's he's trying to clean up. He's organizing the scrap metal. I kind of like that. He's not the the cutest Pokemon out there, but um, I give that one a seven and a half, seven point five out of ten. Then we got the Ogapon. Yeah, again, I'm curious how the... Let me know what your thoughts are about the, the... Whatever, I don't know what they call them anymore. Like the special illustration rare of like the various... The, the, what are they called? Ogre ponds? Ogre ponds. Farfetched. To a Slugma. Into a Macargo. 140. Discard the top card of each player. Exact that takes 100 more damage. Wow. That sounds pretty cool. Seems like that could uh, require some setup, but. All right, we got a pincer. A Swirlix into a another monkey dory. <laughs> uh, these names, I feel like Pokemon is becoming more and more just like a set of puns. All right, we got a jamming tower, sand slash, and heatran. I'm not sure if uh, if how many are, are this type of person where like while I'm working during the workday, I like to just have something on in the background. And at one point, I started just putting on like the the original Pokemon show, uh, and it was just like very nostalgic just to have it in the background. Like obviously, you don't need to pay attention. <laughs> like hardly at all uh but just to experience that like when when the first the show first came out that was like the coolest thing ever frost frost lass all right halfway through the box i feel like we have a decent decent hit rate uh no we got a couple cute or at least one alt art the um aaron or yeah aaron but nothing too crazy we do have some evolutions but look they're just regular this one's uncommon 
into a nose pass. Always interesting Pokemon into a Ting Lu. Yeah, I think I saw, I saw the what the next set was called. I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, but felt like it was still following this um, sort of like mask uh, theme. Iron Thorns. I feel like Tyranitar is a good one, you know, just to create like a big, um, almost reminds me like, what was it like, did Power Rangers do that? Did they create a dinosaur? <laughs> like, oh yeah, I think they were dinosaurs, right? Gives me that kind of vibe. All right, we got some sushi. The, the Tatsugiri, I think this one had a pretty funny alt art. Look like one of the sillier ones. Oh yeah, there's that thing on its chest that um that the was it the monkey door or something was was uh, flinging around. All right. We got a another ghost Pokemon when they just like animate something random. Into, yeah, there he is, the Okidori, swinging around the, um, I don't even know what the, I don't, I don't even know what that is. It is nice to be opening cards again, um, just because in between sets, you know, we, we open a few boxes of, like, the newest set, and then we kind of just patiently wait. Haven't been doing many, just, like, the collection box. Uh, I do feel like we are market wise in like a phase where the um, you know the the hype is not super there legacy energy i think this might be a, one of the better ones oh one thing i will say is the card quality i feel like a good amount of cards are off centered i think this is one of them not that we would get this graded as long as it's attached to a pokemon it provides the same type of energy same type of energy provides only one energy at a time this pokemon is attached to is knocked out damage from attack of your opponent's Pokemon player takes one fewer prize. This effect energy is can't be applied more than once per game. Okay, so prize minus one. Ooh. Oh, there's the timber. All right. So I'm not going to say this is going to be an expensive card, but I do like the ones. Again, my choke is a great example where they're just helping Leafeon, Alt Art. Um, v Max is another gun. He's like helping a farmer. So I'm a big fan of this card. That was a very solid pack. And uh, kind of like the box we opened off camera, we did get two Ace Specs. And I like the way they did that. I think it looks really cool, really pops. I'm not sure if like that Poffin card, is that, if only like the Hyper Rare is in this. Oh, I think there was an Alt Art Greninja, which according to TCG player, like this pre-order price is all like the price, the, num the price is kind of like irrelevant at this time. But that being like the most expensive card right now, Maybe a relevant takeaway. I just kind of messed up my piles a little bit. Uh, I feel like the arts, I don't know, I give it like an 8 out of 10. To be honest, it was a little hard to make it out. I think I like the masks a little bit better. But maybe Greninja is more of like a popular Pokemon. Belly Bolt. Oop. Into a Glimit. This is always, this Pokemon like looks very alien to me. All right, we did get Lana's 8. I believe there's an alt art that looked pretty cute. I think it was like more of like a chibi cartoony or cartoony um like a very small character as if it was like from a game boy game or something but three combination uh pokemon that you don't have in your box okay interesting so we did get two supporters uh one old guy one alana but no alt arts pretty pretty happy with alana though a little ghost and that's strange Pokemon again. All right, winding down. Yeah, it feels like the hit rate is pretty high thus far. Especially if you consider the ace specs, which from sample size of two, we did get two per box. All right, here's the, yeah, one of the agent Pokemons. Like, yeah, it's a old version of Suicune. I guess if it's like almost, the way it's like standing almost implies that it's like Raptor-like. I guess it's kind of cool. But I don't know, it just... Compared to other, like, Alolan, stuff like that, I think I appreciate those more, where they had a very different look, those different type. I don't know, we'll see if they continue to do more with it. But yeah, I would say, like, the iron stuff, it's not bad, but um, come when you combine with the fact that they all have, like, iron, and then it's just, like, you know, treads or something like that. That whole 
kind of like version of those Pokemon is so far underwhelming for me. All right, handful of packs remaining. We got some kind of electric bird, a Sanchu. I always, I always like Sanchu. Um, one of the earlier episodes of the Pokemon show, I think he's like a tamer or something, but like a very hardcore trainer and his Sanchu seemed like he was invincible. <laughs> when my wife opened this card, it's like, oh, it's a little duck. It's very cute. Palfin into a Heatran. Oh, I. This card, I wish there was like a full art of this. Oh, that looks pretty epic. Um, assuming this Heatran's pretty big. Let's see, five, seven. I guess he's not that big. Uh, but I feel like that would be a pretty menacing look. I'm envisioning like a raid, whether it's like Pokemon Go or like in the game or something. And you're just like, your Pokemon are really tiny against this thing and just like has a huge ball of fire in its mouth. I think that would make a very nice alt art. We got a apple. This one's dipped in something. There's that alien thing. And we got the Blood Moon Ursaluna. Kind of looks like he's almost like half cyborg. I do feel like the... Actually, it doesn't seem like all of them. Some of the EXs have like a texture to them. Infernape. Yeah, check out the uh, alt art Infernape. I think that one was uh, looked pretty cool. Enhance hammer. The hammers always seem like very can be very annoying. We got the Agron into the sweet Arcanine. I think there's special Arcanines as well, or Growlithe. I, I kind of like the growl. He's, he's cute with the more like fluffy mane. All right, two packs remaining. Uh, Ty, once again, thanks for your support and allowing me to open this box on your behalf. We got the, I always thought this Glalie. Glalie into a Frost Lass. Oh yeah, Snowmark can evolve into either one of those. I was pretty sure that was the case. Wasn't 100% sure. All right, last pack. Can we get something good? Yeah, I feel like I don't know what our like top hit was. So I feel like this box was. Hmm. Oh, it's a Torkoal. Oh, that's so. All right, this this might be my um. As far as on the cute scale. I don't know, maybe he's like helping like ignite the. What do we want to call this? Like this um. I'm not sure if it's for uh like baking like materials or baking food. We'll just call it the oven. Oh, that's cute. I wish the Torco was a little bit bigger. Maybe you could see a little bit more of his face and stuff like that. Uh, but I like that. All right, let's just go through the hits. We will sleeve everything up. And actually, let's just take note of centering. This one looks pretty good. Ursa Ring, Lana, we got one supporter. Greninja, oh yeah, see this one is, oh, okay, When maybe this because it's the uh, Terra. So it is feels textured. I do like this timber. So we did get two A specs, handful of regular EXs, a Laron. Again, pretty good. He's helping out. We did get two supporters. The caretaker is meh. And then I hope this isn't the big hit. I don't know. I feel like these like shinies where it's just a shiny background with the different, um, you know, the different style art. Uh, centering looks okay. And then a Dragapult EX. So that's going to do it for me today. Ty, thanks for letting me open this on your behalf. Uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below on this new set. I don't know. I feel like I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'm on a turtle. Catch you all next time. Peace.